I saw Mohammed being shot. Um, it was on the 17th of October. There were three jeeps that had gone into the camp. They have at least six portholes where they can shoot out from, and their jeeps are completely armed, manned every porthole. They'd only been there about, say, 15 minutes. Um, they'd gone down one end of the camp and then turned around to come back. And then two of the jeeps left because they weren't interested in anything going on there. But one of the jeeps decided to stay. But, as usual, one jeep stopped for whatever reason. And um, I saw one of the soldiers putting his gun out of the porthole at the back of the jeep. And it seems to be something like four or five minutes where he was aiming at a group of people at the side and one of them was Mohammed. I could see him walking up and down and I was really worried for his safety. And I remember we shouted out to the soldiers, look, don't shoot, there's just a small child there, you don't need to do this. We were screaming, you know, don't shout, don't shoot the entire time. We kept hollering that. And then a few seconds later, bang. And they'd hit Mohammed, and I heard him screaming and holding onto his stomach and going into the ambulance. And then the Jeep just drove away. And he was shot, we found out he was shot in the stomach. And it was a rubber bullet, but it penetrated. And he went through one surgery, and he was supposed to go through another. Um, and the Rafidia Hospital. And that's a place where, you know, they usually only keep people if it's very serious conditions because they only have, I think, 25 beds and very few in ICU. So it was obviously pretty serious for them to keep him um, for as long as they did. You know, our bullet is a uh, uh, metal, some metallic, uh, cylindric metal, okay, which is covered by cylindric rubber, okay? Penetrate the abdominal wall, penetrate the abdominal wall, and getting to, into the abdomen, okay? Causing an injury to the, uh, the sac, that's the collection of urine. He needs two weeks treatment here. Yeah. Mm. So he required an operation on the bladder? Yes, also? yes, yes. He was underwent an laboratory operation and the, uh, the, the rubber bullet was removed from the abdominal, removed, and uh, he is now in the stage of recovery after the operation. But it was so shocking because all of this happened in the space of 15 to 20 minutes. The soldiers didn't seem to be doing anything in the camp. If they wanted anything with Mohammed, they could have got out of their jeep and gone and spoke to them or arrested him. It was nothing to do with that. It seems to be pure malice. So we were trying to follow up with that story. And we talked, we had one of the activists contact um, one of the pressmen there from AP, and he said he would keep the footage, or she asked him to, because we were trying to follow up with human, human rights organizations. She called him back a few days later after we were getting the story organized. Somehow he doesn't have it. And he doesn't know, either he doesn't know who has it or it doesn't exist anymore. We're still trying to follow up on what happened. So AP had footage of a soldier deliberately shooting a child mm -hmm. in the school. Mm -hmm. Oh, they get that a lot. <laughs> it's not something that's surprising. It's, it doesn't surprise me that it doesn't make it into the news most of the time. It's most of the time that they invade the camp, they don't leave until someone's shot.
Are these being shot by accident? Are they snipers? Do you have an opinion? I don't think they're by accident because when by accident you can face one, 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 one patient or one person who will come, okay? When you will see many persons, okay, or seven to seven persons together comes to the hospital, all was shot. I think this is not uh, accidental.